says a flesh-eating bacteria has left him disfigured for life, and he claims the Des Moines Hospital failed him to get the proper failed to get him the proper care fast enough. And now a new bill under consideration at the state house would limit what a hospital could pay if the medical team makes a mistake. KCCI investigative reporter Alex Schumann shows us what a proposed cap on some malpractice lawsuits could mean for patients. I'll never recover all the way. Dave Brown's life nearly ended in 2018. They literally told my family that you need to come here because he's not going to be here tomorrow. <sighs> he still fights back tears almost two years after he says a Des Moines hospital failed to get him the proper care fast enough when he showed up in severe pain. The list goes on and on how my life has changed. I am disfigured for life. Brown believes doctors misdiagnosed him at first keeping him in the hospital for several days while he suffered from a flesh-eating bacteria, only taking him by ambulance to Iowa City after a bowel rupture. It almost cost me my life. Brown woke up to learn skin needed to be taken from his leg to rebuild what's left of his abdomen. When I first saw myself, it looked like somebody took a backhoe and just shoved it in my side and then just drug it right across here and just pulled everything out. Brown's wife, Lisa, gave us a look at his medications. They want to hold the hospital accountable for not acting faster. Brown says his dialysis, treatments, and medications cost him between $160,000 and $200,000 a month. This shot runs $40,000 a month. Do I think that I would be totally normal? No. But I don't think I would have lost my whole abdomen clear to my back on both sides and from my chest down. The Iowa House and Senate are each considering bills that would cap certain malpractice damages like pain and suffering. What this bill does is it places a cap of $750,000 on those non-economic damages, those pain and suffering damages that are intangible. Senator Zach Whiting supports the Senate version. He says patients can still go to a jury trial and have no cap on punitive damages or direct financial losses from a medical provider's mistake. What we're doing here with this bill is we're balancing the need to compensate uh, plaintiffs that are injured as well as maintaining a, a, a robust healthcare industry. It's just heaping injustice on top of already a bad situation. Brown's attorney is concerned capping any part of malpractice suits will mean attorneys and patients are less likely to even try them if the amount is too low. They know that this cap, it's not gonna cap lawsuits, it's gonna do away with them. Good boy. Brown wants lawmakers to put themselves in his situation and not support putting a set number on how his or anyone else's life is changed. You shouldn't be putting me in a category with a lot of other people when you don't know what I've even been through. Alex Schumann, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.